Hello everybody! We just got absolutely fucking destroyed by the physics of this game. Uh, and it was annoying. We had uh, we had the really terrible alternate grenades, we had the ray gun, and we had the browning, and I was just like, oh man, so good. Well, we do have the thumbnail at least. But uh, yeah, I want to get through these last guns. Uh, but yeah, it's over, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it over? We shot and we loathed you and now we're kind of gone it's over isn't it why can't I move on but um yeah so this will be the final episode of the gun showcase for world at war um it's very sad but very melancholy at the same time we've had so many great memories especially in this bunker uh I really hope I don't have to sing that again uh, I this is my third take of this. The first one I just didn't get it, uh, and I just chose to restart. The second one, oh my god! There we go. The second one was the one I just did, where we got it and we were camping and it was great. We got it on like round four or something. We got it super early. Ah. Uh, but it's just not meant to be. Um, yeah. So this time, I really hope that we are able to get it and we're able to stick it. Uh, I want it. It's because it's just childhood. It's just the childhood memory of camping uh, with a friend on like the Xbox 360, uh, just having a fucking great day. You know what I mean? Uh, because you know, if you like, not everyone really had internet access on uh, their Xboxes and stuff. So when you went over to a friend's house, uh, most of the time they probably didn't even have Varukt or anything. Because even though there were free DLC back in the day, it wasn't always a guarantee. I think it's free DLC. Man. Imagine like... Like, I feel like a lot of people are like, it's like it's super crazy because it's like... How, like, how do a lot of people fucking, uh, play these games, you know? But, uh, yeah, the good old Khan 98K being an absolutely fun as fuck weapon to use and mess around with. Uh, even on a map like this, everyone always says, but the M1A1 is so much better! You're not gonna be, like, this is fucking knock. The Thompson is in the next room. And if you don't want the Thompson, you can just spin the box twice. And most of the time, you're going to get a fucking better weapon than the goddamn M1A1 out of the box. So, like, I just don't understand why people are always just like, the M1A1 is obviously really good. And I'm going to go over that in my uh, spawn room video. Uh, I'm, like, the M1A1 is actually kind of low in that video, because it's only a wall weapon here, and... Being a war weapon in knock is basically like a who cares kind of moment. Like, literally, like, it's knock, the zombies move pretty slowly. Like, you don't really need that fucking much assistance. Like, look, the STG 44, I think it's a little bit better than the M1A1. And there it is. You love to see, get it, you love to just get the thing you want immediately. Uh, I do think we're going to go for a little bit of fun. We'll, we'll try to get like the, uh, we'll try to get maybe the double barrel shotgun or just the sword off double barrel shotgun even. Um, and just really have some old school fun. Because uh, as this is like the finale, basically the entire show. Uh, of this, you know, playlist at least, uh, I think we're getting 30 episodes in this uh, in the series. Uh, the Car 98K happened twice, uh, and I don't mean just like the scoped variant, because uh, that is its own weapon. But like the we did the Car 98K on Verrucked. The main reason, by the way, that that was a thing is because I really wanted to show off. Um, I wanted to do another one on Verrucked, 
but also I thought it would be a great idea to just show off the diff the real difference between each one of um the 200 point rifles in a more interesting way so like the Arasaka, the Springfield and the Kanani AK like what if you had to get Jug or try to set up with each one of them like how hard how crazy would that be uh, and that's what inspired me to do those ones <sighs> uh, I mean like the STG is actually pretty okay but we're already gonna get a different gun anyway The bar, one of the worst weapons ever made. Honestly, people shit on the fucking uh, Karnani AK. Imagine being the bar. Like, it can get worse. Fucking, like, 160 ammo total, which is less than the Thompson. Uh, which is cheaper. I love the fucking random ass zombie pathing in this one. It's so fucking good. It's also so creepy. Because it makes you like really wonder what the fuck is going on in the zombies' minds. For them to be going in such weird areas. Okay. Hello. The good thing about this is that there's only 24 zombies per round maximum on a knock. It's actually something I really fucking love. It just makes the rounds go by so much faster. And the Wonder Wolf kind of killed it. Because uh, the moment they did the Wonder Wolf and they were, they were like, wait, actually, this makes it way too easy. But I think if they made it that like on later rounds you had four dog spawns and like, you know... 24 zombie spawns or something. I think it could have worked out well. There we go. Is that the final guy? No, it's not. There we go. That's the final guy. So, one thing that everyone always says all the time is that, oh yeah, like the Sword of Dobbao Shotgun, it does more damage because it has the attachment. It doesn't. Uh, they're literally, like, the exact same, except for I think the only actual difference is the fact that, um, the Sword Off just has less range. I'd actually, I, from testing, it does not feel like the Sword Off does any more damage. Uh, just a fun little fact for you guys. That's my boomstick. It was flipping flopping around. He was like, I don't know which way I want to go. They're both so appetizing. They both lead to a dead guy. Or a soon to be dead guy. Man, it's so weird. I really, like, they just... I wish I could play, and I've always said this, I wish I could have played World at War multiplayer when it was a big thing back in 2008. Online, with friends. Like, I think, like, that's the problem with modern Call of Duties, is you just can't have those memories anymore. Because everything is always such a grind, you have to pay for so much shit you don't want and you don't need. Uh, and everything is always handled so shittily. Uh, that you can't just have those really fucking great moments anymore. Where it's like, fucking hell. I almost got caught on the fucking, uh, thing again. Well, not again. I was over here, and then the zombie, like, ran up to me. Went around me. B uh, pushed me back, and then hit me. So, like, it hit me once. Boom. Bam. So I really, I really took the dick in. Uh, but yeah. The interesting thing is, cause, uh, is that I won't be changing the HUD at all in this episode. Uh, like removing it. Because there's no need to in this one. Because I already have the thumbnail. But yeah. 
I think for this thumbnail, I'm gonna have it be titled like Our Childhood. Because I think we can all agree, like, this gun is so synonymous with childhood nostalgia. Playing this game, getting this map, uh, if, it, if it was, you know, from the campaign or just a friend's house. Either of all, just, you know, playing zombies for the first time, essentially. That in and of itself is such a nostalgic memory for, like, everyone. Uh, and I think everyone could agree that we all just thought that the, other than the ray gun, the mystical ray gun, uh, everyone was like, oh, damn. The motherfucking browning was crazy. Uh, it was always funny, everyone always wanted the browning over the MG42, at least in my experience, everyone was like, oh yeah, the fucking browning, let's go. When it's, they're both the same gun, statistically, but this gun has a way worse reload. So you wouldn't actually want this weapon. But okay, we've beaten round 7. We've done better than the last time I played this map. I also love how the ammo belt is clipping into the arm of the soldier. You think that they would have changed that? But they didn't. I will say that the MG42 is definitely the way more classic fucking weapon to me. Uh, like, it just looks so much better as well. Look at him, he was moving sideways. The, nother, the number one problem about uh, zombies and all of this, it's just, uh, you never really knew when you would be getting like a max ammo or anything. Uh, and that was the stress. And that is the stress even now uh, with a lot of weapons of just, uh, when you when you have a box weapon, like if you're doing like the, uh, when I'm doing like a weapon on the Org or the Winter's Howl or, you know, something like that. Shout outs to my round 35 victory on uh, the map 5 where I used some very unexpected weapons in order to clutch a few rounds uh, because I ran out of ammo but yeah I absolutely adore fucking zombies and it's so amazing to be able to make content on it uh, I know that not anyone not everyone really watches my videos and you know, my best performing Call of Duty video is, like, a video where, like, almost every single person is like, why the fuck is this in my recommended? Which is the, uh, the tale of two bars. Uh, very early on video. Um, but yeah, it's just, it feels special to be able to be part of a community. Although for as much amazingness as uh, this community has brought, there's also a lot of bad to it, too. Man, it's so crazy uh, seeing that that block, the block of lines next to uh, that number of 428, those are all individual bullets. And I think if anyone wants to try, like, an anyone, anyone who's like, trying, they're like, I want to make a non-Activision, but like, you know, I want to do zombies for like my game, please bring back the fucking tally or... The digits uh, showing off how many bullets you have left. It was such a classic fucking thing. Uh, and it was just so, like, fucking original. It, it felt original, at least. Back when a nuke would completely destroy a round. That's gonna be, like, my. That's the, gonna be the number one thing I'm gonna have to fucking do for goddamn the uh, scoped car 98k. Because, uh, boy howdy, don't forget, I am still grinding that game out. Uh, that's like the only reason, other than, you know, this. Man, he had a really firm grip of something before he died. In such a kill. Oh, that's nice. I think it's in BO4 where max ammo is actually... Restore every, uh, the ammo, uh, even in the magazine. Which is such a fucking godsend. Also, the weird whooshy. Whoa! 
That's why you want to have that closed. Okay. Okay, that's why we have the emergency shotgun. Because at least for a little bit of time, uh, it will be able to save us. I could have left him around and then just spun for the mystery box. Because it's, it's not like it's going to fucking go anywhere. I did only now just realize I should have boarded up this window. World at War logic, everyone. World at fucking lo world, uh, War logic. Man, remember when back in the day war weapons were actually a fucking good thing? But I mean, like. The trench gun, like the trench gun is as good as the raid. Well, it's slightly worse. Uh, but definitely better than the fucking BO2 raid. Uh, the Remington 870 MCS. That thing is so, just not as good in any way. The arm is still there. <sighs> but man, like how many of you... In, in uh, the comments below, how many of you got to like fucking this round? Like round like 12, round 10, and you were like, well round 11 and 12, and you were like, wow. We've elevated from fucking tally marks to goddamn numbers. The game is getting intense now. You and your friend, maybe one of you had the ray gun, one of you had the browning, you know. One of you had gone down earlier because, you, you know, something funny happened. You laughed about it, and you know, for the next like day or two, you made jokes about it at school. I hate fucking the sprint reload cancel. It helps so much sometimes, but it also kills as much as it helps. I'm gonna run out of ammo soon. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and train with the fucking the uh, the fucking double barrel. Ah, <sighs> but man, so many good memories. I think the highest we got I got to with my friend was like 16, maybe 18, but like I think it probably would have been closer to 16. Which is funny because like nowadays it's just like, you know, oh, only 16? But it's like, man, that was like fucking 2011 or some shit. 2011, 2012? No, it would have been like 2012, 2013. Yeah, it would, I think it was like 2012, 2013. So like fucking, we, there was BO2. But yeah. That's useful. They didn't implement the bad stab yet, uh, which meant that you could actually fucking like knife zombies safely. Okay. Let's see if we can get the ray gun or something. Nah. We'll keep camping for now, and then, you know, if the shit hits the fan, we'll just go downstairs and we'll start going crazy. I don't know if this is still a one-shot or not. Might still be. We need a willing sub uh, subject. 
Yeah, it still is. Back in the day when, you know, a 1200 purchase weapon was fucking crazy. Or also known as back in the day when uh, war weapons weren't trash. Whoa, maybe it's a trash. No, it's because it's a. Uh... Whoa, okay, we're dead. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. We started using a weapon that wasn't the Browning anyway. So I hope you'll have an absolutely wonderful day. I hope you absolutely enjoyed this series as a whole. Uh, I still have to, for me, I still have to actually record the MG42 video. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you've, you'll absolutely adore and love the playlist. Uh, I wonder if you were post or pre uh, playlist change. If you don't know, when there's basically only like a few guns left, I changed the playlist from how it originally was uh, like time based uh, and changed it to the gun like Wikipedia uh, version. So, like pistols. So, like uh, for World of War, it lists pistols first and then like bolt action uh, rifles, semi auto rifles. Uh, and then, you know, the STG, uh, and then SMGs, then, uh, then LMGs, then shotguns, then specials, uh, and yeah, that's kind of like how it all goes, really, but yeah, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you all in another series, goodbye.